Ruling party candidate Pena scores major win in Paraguay Bob Colorado Party's Pena leads with 43% of the preliminary vote. Opposition candidate Allegra concedes with about 28% of vote. Welcome to Long Branch News, your daily source for the latest business news and trends from around the world. Whether you're an entrepreneur, investor, or simply interested in the world of business, our channel is the perfect place to stay up to date on the latest developments in the industry. From breaking news to in-depth analysis, our team of experienced reporters and analysts brings you the stories that matter most, delivered in a clear and concise format. So if you're ready to stay ahead of the curve and take your business acumen to the next level, hit that subscribe button and join us on this exciting journey. Santiago Pena, a former finance minister, scored a major victory in Paraguay's presidential election Sunday, as voters gave the ruling Colorado party a third straight mandate to run the South American country. Pena, 44, had 43% of the vote with more than 98% of voting stations counted, according to preliminary results from the electoral court. His main challenger, Efren Allegra, a former public works minister leading a coalition of leftists and conservatives, conceded after winning about 28% of votes. President-elect Pena called on Paraguayans to put aside their differences and work with him to improve living standards. We have a lot to do after the recent years of economic stagnation, worrying levels of unemployment and the increase in the poverty rate," he said in a televised address to supporters. The task that awaits us isn't for a single person or party. Public opinion surveys had shown a tight race between Allegra and Pena, both of whom held hefty leads over a crowded field of contenders. However, anti-establishment candidate and ex-senator Paraguayo Cubas proved a spoiler for Allegra, taking almost 23% of the vote. The Senate expelled Cubas, who gained notoriety for punching and throwing water at fellow senators, after he assaulted police officers in 2019. Pena will start his five-year term on August 15, when incumbent President Mario Abdo Benitez of the Colorado Party steps down. Preliminary results also showed the Colorado Party winning a significant share of seats in Congress. Paraguay, a landlocked nation about the size of California in the heart of South America, is a major food and renewable energy exporter. Still, its economic growth has averaged about 1.2% in the last five years, and about a quarter of its 7.5 million people live in poverty. Abdo Benitez's term was marked by weak growth and high inflation due to punishing droughts, the COVID-19 pandemic, and soaring global food and energy prices. He survived two impeachment attempts, while policy blunders and corruption allegations took a heavy toll on his cabinet. Corruption became a major issue in the election after the U.S. government sanctioned Vice President Hugo Velasquez and ex-President Horacio Cartes, now Colorado Party Chairman and Pena's political mentor, for alleged corruption and ties to terrorism. Why Paraguay Vote Matters to U.S.-China Rivalry Pena promised to spend more on social programs, infrastructure, and housing while leaving the country's notoriously low taxes unchanged. Boosting growth by attracting more investment would provide the needed tax revenue to pay for that spending, he said. Paraguay says Chinese vaccine offers tied to dumping Taiwan. Pena has also pledged to maintain Paraguay's alliance with Taiwan, which in practical terms means his country can't directly sell its soy and beef to China. Investors didn't appear overly concerned ahead of the vote with the currency appreciating 1.4% year-to-date against the dollar. Paraguay's global bonds returned about 75% during the same period, compared with average gains of 110% for peers in Central and South America, according to data compiled by Bloomberg. Paraguay's approximately 4.8 million registered voters also cast their ballots for all members of Congress, 17 governors, and 257 departmental council members. We hope you found the latest business news and trends informative and insightful. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and colleagues. 
And if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you never miss a future.